Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Through the Ages. Now, we have we have a lot to talk about this episode. Do not pay no mind no attention to that for now. We are focused solely on horses. So, we are on the quest for the perfect horse. Now, the perfect horse is something that is a little bit hard to get and I'll explain the mathematics behind it for you in just a little bit. So the perfect horse has a, has a speed of 0.3375, which I believe is about three ticks. And since this is a, that cow looks scary in there. Look at that. He's just honestly watching. Like there's a revenge plot or something going on there. Regardless, I believe this is about three ticks. So a six horse can turn into a three horse, but we'll have to see and find better ways to measure as time goes on. We will be redoing this eventually. All redstone gets redone like a thousand times eventually. But for the jump height, it's 5.29 blocks. So we have the one, one and a half, or two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, and five, five and a half. And technically, no horse should be able to make the five and a half. It should only be able to make the five and then slowly go up almost to point three, and we could achieve that with um, snow layers, but I am entirely fine with just a five, like a uh, perfect course being a five jump. And finally, hearts 23, 23 hearts. Now, 23 hearts is a little bit, uh, it's a, what is the word? It's hard to really measure 23 hearts because technically the meter only goes up to 20. So this one has 11 because every player has 10 hearts. Um, this horse has that many, I think the highest heart horse is the skeleton horse, which is sad, which that is over 23, or is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, that's 20, like, 7. I don't know how this horse exists. This horse is an anomaly. But, we are on the quest for the perfect horse. What we're gonna do is we made this little fence in here, and we're going to be searching all around the world for horses in different areas, bringing them back here, and then, so... And then breeding them together to make the perfect horse. Now, let me talk to you about how we do that. So, how horse breeding works is you have two horses. So, these two horses. You, this horse let's is, is a speed of six. This is a speed of uh, three. So, its baby will be an average of both these horses. So, let's say its jump height, jump height is six and this jump height is five. It's going to be five and a half. Or, yeah, jump height. It's going to be five and a half blocks. Even though I know that's unattainable, it's still what it's going to be. So it's always an, an average in between of the two horses. So what we'd have to do is we'd breed this horse with this horse. And then we would keep... No, no, we wouldn't keep breeding them. So, like, you can breed the best speed horse. And then you would have to... Then you would, so you would breed the speed with that. And then you'd get the speed up to the max speed. So you would make a horse with this jump speed... Or with this speed and that and a median of that jump then you would start doing it the other way breeding that horse with that horse go around breed that horse with that horse go around breed that horse with that horse because it always takes the median of horses so uh, there's like there is a graph that it's exponential to breed the perfect horse so like it gets harder and harder and there's a lot of breeding involved but that is what we have to do and we are going to go searching for some horses coming up pretty soon here. But in the meantime, we're going to show some other things we've done. Notably that. We're not going to look too much at it. I want to get a closer look and a better look. I just want to go grab some leads. But yeah, so we've been working really hard on stream and off stream on doing that. The perfect horse breeding is a very hard thing. If anyone has like experience with that, like please inform me and you know comment down below what you can do to help like what, what your suggestions are because it's, sometimes it's confusing to me and i will have to make a literal graph to like fully understand what i'm doing and then let's grab a shulker Which, hold on. drop those in there Ugh. just put one in here or put one in the random we need saddles. In there. We don't need any horse armor, we just need saddles. That should be good enough. 
Now let's take a look at some things we've done. Uh, you, last time you saw the underground library and all that stuff, I've been smelting so much. Oh, we're underwater. I've been smelting so much smooth stone for this project, but let's take a closer look. And especially how it looks flying into it. Oh yeah. So this is what we have done so far. This is the start of the mountain range. We have this entire wire frame down. Um, and this is what it's going to be like. Um, we have been working mainly on this section. This is the first section. As you can see, it's like it's by the river and it slightly like curves up to grab like to like, you know, like the river. I want it to look like the river has carved this out. Like this is from there. And then what I'm also going to do with this section. So from here down to like here is I want to make this have a like um a natural arch that forms here and there and like a tunnel through so this river is going to go actually like through the mountain right here so there'll be see that it'll go there it'll connect to there and this will connect to here that technically needs to connect to here so it'll probably go right here and right there and there's gonna be this tunnel through but yeah, let's take a look. This is this is all handmade, by the way. None of this is natural generation. I've been trying to base myself off other mountains and other generation of the world. This is also just the stone layer. We have not put the dirt layer on yet. But this is what we got so far. Let's go down to the ground and take a look at it from, like, down here. So yeah, that's it. Um, we're currently working on this section to put it up. We're gonna, like, I, I work on uh, in be one in between at a time. That's what I've been doing. I think that's the best way to do it but you know you walk along this uh, river which we're gonna expand the river too and make it look a little nicer like world terraforming will be done on the river but we got up here you know this nice cliff face that goes up a little bit of course there are some monsters in there we'll look at the back we'll look at the backside in just a second but this is like what it is and i'm really in love with it like i think this is amazing and a great job yeah and this is the underneath so far um, I do have plans to fill this in, like the entirety of the mountain to be full, but for now, we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta make, make do with what we have, and we don't have that much smooth stone, or anything. We don't have that much anything yet, and it'll be like a slow process, and it's honestly gonna be a place to store all the extra cobblestone, really. Really, that's what it's gonna be, because we just have so much from so many locations, and I think just making this in general the smooth stone they used to that they we will use for this will deplete our stone or our cobblestone significantly and i really i'm really enjoying that but all right so we are going to take off in probably this direction looking for horses and we will be back when we have found some horses oh wait i also need stuff to tame them with well i'll get that and then we'll be back with horses and we have found horse heaven. So we headed um, back towards spawn this direction. What are we looking at? What is this? North? No. It is... My God, why can't I find the direction? You probably found it before I did. West. We headed west. Um, we headed west and we found this location of horses. Not too far. We'll have to transport them all back, but it's just a little bit... Over there, maybe a couple hundred blocks. And yeah, so we're gonna get taming all these and then we will bring them all back.
have done it we have brought in 11 horses back and oh my god as you've probably seen from the a few of the uh little little clips before this was an absolute nightmare bringing these back always traveling with large groups of horses is the worst we have these 10 horses now it's all getting them um tested out seeing what they can do seeing if they're you know good enough and going from there so yeah um there are more horses in two of the locations i crossed which we'll be gathering up all those two before the next episode but this is this episode this is this is it i i cannot do any more i am so so done with the horses they're just they're so hard to travel with because the leads always break but i did it i i came out with 10 leads i came back with 10 leads which means we didn't lose a single horse along the way Usually, like, there's one horse that goes missing or something along those lines. But, yes, we have all these horses. So, I would like to thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been an amazing episode of Through the Ages. Oh, I pressed shift when I was on that horse. And now I can't get back on. Um, it'd be really nice if you could, you know, like the video. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you have hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell in the top right corner to get all the updates when I post videos, which should be every couple days. Um, we will definitely be focusing on this mountain a lot recently. So if you want to see more of the grunt work of it, please check out my live streams. I do relatively, you know, I, I do them every morning about 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's usually when I do them. Um, so you'll see me every day of the week doing that. If I'm not doing that, I'll be playing other video games. If you want to see any of that content, please check me out on Seth M Official at twitch.tv. And again, thank you guys all so much. Ooh, thank you guys all so much again for watching. This has been a wonderful episode, and I will catch you guys all on the next one. Peace out.